calculating ROI from Richmond, um, you know, how does one go about that? Liz, what are your what are your thoughts? How should they judge whether enrichment is really accretive and put a real number on it? I think there's two ways to measure it. One is salespeople's productivity, because if enrichment works well and the salespeople are only focused on the accounts that could generate revenue, you should see an increase in productivity because they're getting excited by the leads they're selling too, because they're a higher quality lead. So their productivity indicators should dramatically start to go up because they're energized and they're, they're looking after it. The second thing you should see is the value of the pipeline should dramatically increase. Therefore, what you'll see with lead enrichment is the value of the pipeline will go up. You won't see more qualified leads because you'll see less leads being worked because you've got rid of all the rubbish. So it's not about lead qualification because lead qualifications on inbound when you're scoring. Enrichment is about pipeline value. It's the it's actually zoning in on the gold and releasing the revenue potential that's there for the sales team. And this sets a huge opportunity. And then the second thing, it's not just about enriching once, it's about enriching quarterly every three months each year, you know, during the year, because you want to enrich and you want to keep it up to date.